Drag Eye Shea here, Uneven Balance, hope you guys are well. So, I just wanted to do a quick video on Sam Curran. I touched upon it in my video I did with Ravi and Joe on the second test um, uh, review. Um, what was that? Was that Monday? So, yeah, two days ago. Um, and just wanted to kind of just touch upon, elaborate a bit more, a point on Sam Curran. Because I, I've got this kind of singing feeling that Sam Curran is going to kind of be a little bit lost until we see some people move aside and then those two people I would say are Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson. I think Sam Curran is a very 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 talented cricketer. I just don't see, it's almost like I just don't see a, a place for him. I don't see anyone who would tell me that Sam Curran makes their first choice 11. That's the problem. I think you could argue for Smart Wood, you could argue for Jimmy Anderson, you could argue for Shoot Broad, you could argue for Chris Wilkes. But some about Sam Curran, maybe because he's less assuming, he's a bit shorter, he can spoil quick, you know, he's a decent batsman, but this guy got banned the series in 2018, it's against India. You know, went to the IPL, opened the batting for Punjab, did really well there in certain games. Um But he didn't you know, he's never really been that kind of guy, oh Sam Curran's playing, you know, like and I almost think that he's always gonna live in the shadow of Ben Stokes. Because I actually think that he's probably possibly the closest thing we could eventually get to Ben Stokes. Chris Wilkes has probably reached the peak of his powers, truth be told. I don't think he's going to get any better batting or bowling. Maybe bowling, if he, because he bowls consistently for England, home and away, he will feel more at home in that team and will improve, especially with more um, responsibility placed on his shoulders with, say, Anderson's retirement. But Sam Curran just turned 22 years old. There's so much, you know, game time ahead of him. So much more of his career to be had, you know. He's got so much left to to, to give and to improve on. Um, I just wonder if he'll, his career will always be kind of in the shadow of Ben Stokes. I wonder. I wonder if he's going to focus more on one facet of his game in order to make himself uh, a much more of a cert in the eleven you know, uh, more of a fixture in, in the team. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just I just worry a little bit with Sam Curran. I keep I always feel like he's a bit of an afterthought. Even though he's done so well for England at times. I mean he's what I think he's won like seventy percent of his matches in England. Um he really loses in the England shirts, you know? Um I just don't I just don't think he's good enough as a third teamer. I don't think he's good enough as a number six or arguably a number seven batsman. That's the problem. And I think his only way of getting into the team, I would say, listen, when Anderson Broad finish, if he's improved his bowling, I think obviously he can get into, excuse me, he can definitely break into the top three bowlers. If his batting improves, he can bat top seven, potentially, you know? Um, but I just I just don't see, just, he's a bit of a conundrum, Sam Curran, and I, just, I don't know where he fits. And I wondered to myself, where's Sam Curran going to be in three years' time? You know, I'd like to focus on Red Bull game, to be completely honest with you. But I don't know, I just don't know if he's going to fall to the wayside. Or will he always be that kind of spare guy that will turn to and expect a kind of 7 out of 10 performance and that'll be it for him until all these guys move away. And that, But then Ben Stock is going nowhere for a long time, let's be honest. Broad Anderson, yes, but... Can you ever see Sam Curran consistently opening the bowling for England? Even without Broad and Anderson. I don't I don't know if you do. I don't know if you do. You know, so I just I don't know. I just it's a tricky one. I just thought I'd just do a quick video on it basically. I you know, I really welcome your thoughts on this guys. What do England do with Sam Curran? Where do you think his future lies? Where do you see him in three years' time? Guys, shop below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, to say, let me know your comments. Um, do you see a place from the team? Do you think he can kick on and be a rival to Ben Stokes? Um, can he play alongside him? Or is he going to be the Stuart McGill of England, you know, um, who obviously always kind of played in the shadows of, of Shane Warne, didn't he really? So, yeah, um, yeah, drop your thoughts below, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, just a quick video on that, yeah. Um, just kind of irked me for a while, to be honest with you, after watching him in the second test, thinking, you know, what do England do with Sam Curran? Yeah, let me know. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do like it, uh, share, comment, as I mentioned before, and most of all, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Okay.